Good morning! It is Monday, May 15th, and we are getting ready to go to Epcot. We have some fast passes there this morning. Um, we're not going to make it quite for rope drop. We didn't do that yesterday either. We were just kind of tired people, and when the park opens early and closes late, um, it's a little hard to get up in the morning. But we are going to get over to Epcot and try to get in line for Frozen Ever After. And from there, we have Soren Fast Passes, Sort of Luck with Crush Fast Pass, and your birth. <laughs> so we're going to have fun today. Um, I hope we can fit everything in we want to do. We also want to get over and say hi to Erin at her work location. Uh, so we'll just see if we can fit everything in. If not, we are now annual pass holders. So hopefully we'll just come back another time and do whatever we wanted to do today then. What? I needed to show you guys that amount of wind that comes down from the door. It's unbelievably strong. It just like knocks you back every time. So I think that we are actually in a parking lot that is close enough that we are going to walk in. There's not a tram running here. Um, so I'm not going to complain because it's nice when you can just walk right up and we don't have to wait on a tram, tram, tram. Now we may move our car later if we go to Animal Kingdom. Sometimes it's easier to drive, but we may just take a bus. But we are a little tired. Is that right, Mama? A little tired? Yeah, just a little. Just a little. <laughs> but uh, she said she went to get on the elevator this morning and like the doors open and she just kind of stared at the people in there and was like, oh, I'm supposed to get in. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're a little loopy right now. First thing on our agenda is going to try to ride Frozen, um, which is what used to be the Maelstrom. Maelstrom, Maelstrom, Maelstrom. I, everyone makes fun of how I say it. I, I don't remember the right way to say it. The parks are pretty empty at this time of the morning. Everyone's going back to the frozen. Well guys, we made it. We are in Norway and they said it's going to be a 45 minute wait. Um, we're like out here, I guess the switchbacks are not open yet. But it's going to be a 45 minute wait, which is great because later on in the day, like yesterday when I checked it was 105 minutes. Um, so can't wait to ride it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
He's just sitting there with his feet over the edge. That's so cute. He's drifting with the thing. That, whoa, is a shaky camera work. Sorry, folks. He's got the best view in the place. Guys, so this I got yesterday, and it came with a flower on top, and we were like, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't serve these unless they're edible. It says, today's edible flowers are grown at Epcot's Land Pavilion. And I'll probably film some of Living with the Land later. Um, Living with Land is actually one of my favorite rides at Disney. Uh, it's just really cool to see how they grow the plants, and then they actually do yeah, use them in the restaurants here. And clearly a flower and garden. Back at the camp, the Violet Lemonade. I'm happy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, it's the boss man himself and hippos wearing tutus. We are at the land again. We were here yesterday. Didn't plan to be here yesterday. It's a pretty creek. I never really noticed that creek before. So we're gonna go ride Soren again. That's what our first fast pass is. And then I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do. We do have two more fast passes, but I've gotta double check what time those are. Hey guys, we are in Soren again. I hope you can hear me. Uh, we're waiting to ride. We're up next to ride. We can see the screen there. Um, so we really enjoyed it yesterday. So we're back again with our fast pass. We are in Sunshine Seasons. Seasons. Sunshine Seasons. Um, to get food. We got some Mongolian rice, which I'll show you in a bit. And some, I want to say, some sort of chicken. Orange chicken, sweet sour chicken. And I'm getting one of these beauties. These are Wolfie Pies. They're so good. I've never tried them. But I know that's kind of like the new thing. It's like the new cup thing, you know? So I'm excited to try them. We got Mongolian beef. And what is orange chicken or sweet and sour chicken? I think it was sweet and sour. Sweet and sour chicken, Mongolian beef. Chicken corn chowder, uh, lo mein noodles, and my whoopie pie. So I don't know whether I'll eat this first or last, but it looks good. Um, and we've had that before, we know it's good. And he's gonna try this, and I think we've probably had that before. Uh, we usually like to eat here. There's an outlet by this wall. This other lady just came over and is letting us use her double thing, so that's nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my whoopie pie. I ate the pretty Mickey off the top. Um, well, let's see how this goes. It's really thick. Very, very thick. Eh, it's hard to do one-handed. I promise I usually can use a fork, but filming and using a fork is another story. It's good. Um, I think it's a bit too much icing in the center, so I may like deconstruct it a bit, but it's really good. I think it's red velvet with chocolate chips and like cream cheese icing. So if you don't like cream cheese, you wouldn't like it. I like cream cheese flavored icing and things. Um, but if you like red velvet, then you'll definitely like it. We have the Finding Nemo characters here. And then you can see Spaceship Earth. We're headed to the seas. I think we're gonna ride this Nemo ride. And then from there, we have a Fast Pass for Turtle Talk with Crush, which is really cute. Um, it's especially cute when kids ask funny questions. I've laughed very hard in this show before. Talk with Crush, and we are in line for the Nemo ride. They are two different things. The Nemo ride is when you ride in a clamshell, and we have fast passes for the show, 
um, where you wait in a room and then they seat you and you get to watch kids ask funny questions. Um, I decided to go ahead and record this, but I am just explaining this to my parents right now because they were confused. They thought we had fast passes for this ride. We have fast passes for the show. Say hello, Daddy. Say hi. Hey, Moose. I'm gonna turn this around so I can see ourselves. Ooh, there we are. So we just boarded this ride and we've ridden it before. And I'm not gonna keep talking during the ride. I'm not that rude, but um, the walk, like the queue. It was ridiculous, like, it was like a labyrinth. Okay, now I'm in the dark. But they had it, like, we walked for, I don't know, 10 minutes? They said it was a 15 minute wait. It was all walking. There was no, like, waiting, standing. swimming around with the actual fish. Um, now we are going to Turtle Talk with Crush. Um, so we're gonna go meet Crush. It's neat because you can look at the fish in this tank while you wait to go in. We were here at the very end, so it's kind of crowded. But we're headed in now. There's too many people. No smoking, and please no flash photography. Thanks guys. This piece of equipment is a hydrophone. It let us hear sounds from under the sea. are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many activities like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice are well known around the world. Oh, you can see there's the a behind the seeds tour going on. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. I'd really like to see some, this behind the like scenes the water, I think you get to try some of the things to really show you how they grow things. All parts of this plant. I've never We're seen cast members in there like cleaning the tilapia tank. I think they're cleaning. Oh my gosh. Like the ones you see here, 
are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. Hello, buddy. The sustainable system using techniques like these in high seals, while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. Oh my goodness, by those are huge. Greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like bees and flies here in this one small area. I have lots of fun hidden Mickeys in this red. Oh yeah, Mickey. Oh. Cucumbers. So they try different ways of growing things here to do research on the best ways and most innovative ways to do things. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and, and vegetable trees. Checking on it. By growing these ground plants. Wow, they just said they serve more than, what was it, 50 or 15 tons of produce that they grow here every year in their restaurants on property. So sometimes what you're getting is really fresh, so fresh it's off property, so that's cool. Or rather from property, off property, I guess would be, but it was not from here. But they grow stuff here and you can eat it. So I really want to try Garden Girl because I know a lot of it goes there since it's right here. Guys, those are the flowers from our Violet Lemonade. We are under the Spaceship Earth Ball and we're going to go ride Spaceship Earth. We made it. We were actually a couple minutes late, but there was a line that was like really far out for some reason for the Fast Pass line. And so I think they just, it was fine. It still turned green when we scanned our van, so. When they turned around and it was dark and we we're like looking at the globe and they say, it's time for your return to Earth, I fell asleep. <laughs> I had mine on German. And so it was neat because I could understand some of the German still, but at the same time, just kind of lulled me to sleep. Uh, so that's cool because they show your picture and like they had you put in where you're from. And so then you can come find yours and send it to yourself. So that's neat. So there I am, there I go. There I go up to over there. That's me. Kingdom to go see Erin at her work location. I hope that she's in a position where we can see her. She said there's a couple positions where it'd be no problem whether she's working outside or if she's just like a host to stand. But if she is like working the bar or somewhere else um, stalking or something, then we won't be able to see her. So I really hope she's in a work location where we can come see her. And um, but yeah, I didn't really say bye to Epcot. We just got caught up talking to a photo pass photographer because we've lived in a lot of the same places and stuff. Um, he was really nice. Um, I may insert a picture of him here. So we're leaving Epcot. It's one of my very favorite parks. Um, we may be back tonight for illumination. I kind of hope we are, but we may also try to see Rivers of Light since that's new. Um, so I guess you guys will find out later. Oh, look, it's the ball. Hi. Thank you. Hi, thank you. We're boarding the General Joe Potter. We're going upstairs. Truthfully, I'm very excited to go back and watch these videos, even if it gets like zero hits on YouTube or views or whatever you get on YouTube. Uh, I'm excited to watch these because usually we just have pictures and I really like taking pictures and posting them on my Instagram, um, which I should mention is at my old Disney home. Um, I don't think I've even mentioned that yet. I'll have to make like an intro video. Um, but I think it'll be fun just to be able to look back and watch these videos. I love using this pass holder entrance. Thank you Walt Disney World. Guys, I just ran up here because there was no one in front of this. Had the venture into the confectionery. We're not here for long, but I just love watching them make this stuff, and it smells so sweet in here. I just like we went into the, the chapeau to look at hats. So we're, my brother's getting married, and they're coming here afterwards. So we wanted to look, see if we could get them anything. Um, but they have a very limited selection of those things. That we wish they had more headbands. Um, so we may have to get something somewhere else. But the smell drew me in because they're right next door to each other. So. We will be going over to see Erin at her work location now. When in the course of humanity... Uh, excuse me, <laughs> Sam? Sam? Kermit, you are interrupting America! Uh, Sam, the gang and I were talking and we had some ideas to make your show more entertaining. Oh, look, we have a little friend outside of Liberty Tree forever. And I'm hoping that we can go in there and see Erin. This is where she works. Oh, you're fine. Do you have any fun facts about America for us? 
Um, Thomas Jefferson was our third president. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. You know American stuff. I think she qualifies as American. <laughs> She's so American. <laughs> she loves me. Well, guys, there's the beautiful castle one more time. Um, well, I'm sure you'll see it in another clip here in a minute. But we are going to Tomorrowland. We just got to see Erin at her work location, which was really fun. <laughs> she probably thought it was a little less fun, but I'm glad. I think she was glad to see us. And then we are going, I think I just said, we're going to the People Mover, and that's gonna be the last thing we do in Magic Kingdom, I'm pretty sure, um, unless there's something with like a five minute wait, uh, because we wanna go over to Animal Kingdom uh, just for a little bit, and then we may end the day either at Rivers of Light or we'll end the day at Illuminations because there's some pins I wanted to buy, and we always love Illuminations. Like I said, Epcot is one of my very favorite parks. So I will see you guys on the People Mover. It's broken. We have to walk up at like peasants. Oh, sometimes I film my feet because that seems to be like a film thing of choice for vloggers. So I was like, oh, I'll do that. This is me trudging. That side's already. So here we go. It was funny. My dad said, I don't like going backwards. I just don't like going backwards fast. And then all of a sudden, it like sped up. <laughs> Camera it's Progress City, that's what Epcot was based off of. That was really good. Oh wow, I never noticed that before. Oh, it's just the side of it. They just have fun little things on the people mover. If you're Main Street. I feel like I could live on Main Street. I feel like ideal job for me would be one of the citizens of Main Street. Um, except for it's really hot, they have to wear like long dresses, so maybe not. But I could be, I could be mayor, or I could be the next Hildegard, I believe is her name, the suffragette. Yeah. So I like it here. If I ever worked here, I think I might want to work the Emporium, except for they also have to work till like 4 a.m. Bless their hearts. So say thank you to your cast members. I know I said that last time, but say thank you to all the cast members who do nice things for you. 